Hi guys, it's Steve from Steve Small World, back with you again. Um, this week we're going to be looking at making some cheap flock. We've had people saying about going to the wood yard and picking up sawdust. Brilliant if you've got one down the road. If not, how do you get round it? Well, when your cat's not looking, you go and raid its wooden cat litter. This is non clumping wood cat litter. It's 10 litres here and it cost me just over 3 quid, £3.30. All it is, it's got a handful so you can pick it up, is wood pellets. So I'll get the table set up so you can see what I'm doing and we'll crack on. Right, I've got myself a nice little dish, tray, what have you got? Whack in some pellets, grab yourself a pot of water, and just pour it in. Just want it to cover. This will fluff up and break down. So we'll just leave it like that for half an hour or so and it'll gradually soak into the wood and start to break down into more for sawdust, which is what we want. If there's loads of water, you can add a couple more pellets and that'll just soak it up. Right, I'll be back with you once this is broken down. Right, it's probably been about 10 15 minutes actually. I've had to add more water to this to make sure it breaks down, so add hard lumps. You get to the stage where you tip it, you just get a little bit of water shown at the edge. So now we're going to colour this up. Really is down to your choice. I've got some green acrylic. Oop. Went everywhere. That's why you do this on the board. I think I'm going to add a little bit of brown to this. I'm just going to get some brown paint back in a sec. Right, I'll grab some brown. Put a bit of that in. This stuff's a bit solid. Get that one. There you go. Get this mixed in. the edge off it a little bit. Okay. We've got a nice green pudding by the looks of it. So what we do, we leave this to stand. If we give it an hour or so, help the colour draw into the wood. And then we'll look at getting it baked. See you then. Right, I've let the flock soak. It's soaked for a few hours and picked up the colour. still got odd bits of chipping that haven't taken colour. There's different types of wood in it that's going to happen. Um, when we grind it up or you can use it as it is, you're either going to blend it out or you're going to get odd little variations when you do bushes and stuff. Can't see that being a problem. So I've drained off any excess water, just sponged off some. Chucked it in an oven tray with some tin foil. Spread it out, and now I'm going to chuck it in the oven at 100 degrees, which the lowest you can get your oven, well, in the UK. Uh, probably take about half an hour to get to a reasonable level. What I would say is every sort of 10 minutes or so, just lift it out, give it a mix up with a fork, just to get the stuff off the bottom so it doesn't burn, and it dries more evenly and quicker, to be honest. And we'll come back and have a look at it once it's all dried. Right, we've got our flock, it's pretty well dry. Probably just leave it for a few hours and let it dry naturally now. It's come up quite fine. The bits of wood we did see have actually coloured up. It's still lighter, but when you blend it all together, we run it through a coffee grinder, fingers crossed. Hopefully it turns up tomorrow and we'll have a look at what we end up with. All right, now our flock's all dry. We're going to grind it up. Let's have a coffee grinder. Chuck some in. Fiddly thing, caramel. Right. Right, there it goes. There we 
Okay. Oh, save. Just done save on. Oh. And then we just pull that into our save. Right, and we keep going with this. We fill up the safe, we get this all ground up. It sticks, just get a brush and wipe it out. Right, so we get all this ground up, and then we come back with sieve and let me see what we get. Right, we ground up all our flock, we just give it a sieve. Try to shake it over the side. Drier it is, the better it is. Actually, it's still slightly too damp. Should have baked it a bit longer. So when the summer comes in, you swing just lay it out on trays in the garden and let it dry out naturally. You're not going to get that much fine flock out of this, unfortunately, but the coarse flock is still good. Right, we're just going to whack up a test strip so we can actually have a look at the flock on something. Just stuck some textured earth on here, a bit of PVA. Just get some PVA on here. We have three different flocks which we made. First of all, we've got our fine, which we'll put a layer down here. Sprinkle it on. Okay, that's our fine. And we do the dark one just so we got comparison. This first batch I made. Spread it out a little bit. Lighter batch. So there's our three flocks, all made from the cat litter. We have a very fine flock, which looks quite good. We have more of a coarse, darker flock. And then we have the coarse flock, which is the coarse left over from this fine green. So overall, I think things have worked out quite well. It's definitely an option if we need to make flock. And I'll set up the camera and come back to tie up. Right, so we've had a go at making flock from cat litter. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the results. You can adjust the colour. I think the coarse flock has options for maybe doing a red and a yellow, dark brown, sort of a leaf scatter because it's got that sort of look to it. The scale looks about right. So, something to bear in mind when you run out of... Um, flock just move your cat outside and grab some cat litter preferably clean um right i will see you all soon and we'll have a look at something new next week please subscribe i'm still aiming to get to those 50 subscribers so i can look at getting some more equipment um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video give us a thumbs down if you don't but i prefer an up and i'll see you soon take care cheers